Calder. Calder. Yeah, that's a big right there. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Fishing Northwest. My name is Tommy Donlin. I'm proud I own the fish. What do you think, Tommy? It's the best. And after work a Fishing is my kind of style. I pluck the one need she when it gets hot. I'm proud of all the things that I got. Hello and welcome to Fish Out Northwest. Winning on Tommy Donlin. Hey, and hey. yes, in studio guests, back for more punishment. Alex Moslov, CEO at Edge Rods. Welcome Put me back. in, coach. Yeah. Yep. Hell you yeah. made the drive and you gosh, you're here on time, the whole deal. Huh? <laughs> glad glad to have you back. It yeah. was a uh, I don't if you live in Washington or not, you're not driving. You're swimming. I yeah, mean, no you, you, no, yeah. you, you, might, you might as well take the drift boat out. That's it was right. a battle to get here. Right. It's for sure. there. Well, we got you here for uh, a couple hours, and uh, not a couple hours. We got you here for an hour. We're going to keep it uh, keep it going, and and uh, lots to get through tonight. So, uh, before we before we focus all on you. We're going to get the rest of the stuff taken care of. So if you're joining us here for the first time, especially on Root Sports, take some time, jump over to our webpage, www.fishhuntnw.com. There you're going to find a handful of items to choose from. First of all, it's going to have a new look for you. we got a whole new layout on the webpage. Uh, take advantage of the Edge Rods coupon, FHN20, at checkout. You're going to save 20% on all Edge Rods all the time uh, if they're not previously attached to another reduced pricing or special. Also check out Phelps Game Calls. Fish Hunt NW10 at checkout. You're going to save on Phelps calls for the entire year uh, with with uh, Fish Hunt Northwest. Uh, getting into it here, Tommy, we got <clears throat> a lot to get through tonight. Alex is here we in the studio. People ask us all the time, Alex, about edge rods and why do you guys fish them and all this. And no better person to bring into the studio than yourself to answer a ton of questions that Tommy and I field constantly as we're out there on the water fishing your rod. So great to have you here. Well, happy to be here. Thank you so much for the invite. Um, and I hope that I do uh, the folks that are asking questions justice. You will. So, you will. Uh, you will. Brains behind the operation, so I'm pretty That's sure right. we're good. So, hey, uh, we, we got some other big news too. I, I don't know if you heard, no. but uh, w, WDFW yeah. and our Skagit co managers have forecasted that we are getting 5,200 wild steelhead returning to the Skagit River and its tributaries. And my friend, that's enough to conduct a fishery. So we got an opening coming up. That's right. We, we got do. an opening coming up. Uh, yes, yeah, so we actually have an opening. Recreational steelhead catch and release opportunity, Tommy, February 3rd through April 17th. That's a pretty yeah. mm -hmm. awesome opportunity. And myself and many others are excited to get back up there. Now, keep in mind, it's five days per week, Saturdays through Wednesdays only closed Thursdays and Fridays. That's mm. fine because we do our show Thursday, so I'm not fishing up there anyway. <laughs> and uh, portions of the schedule of the sock and the major tributary, the, the sock, yeah, under catch and release regulations, except you may retain two wild, or excuse me, <laughs> do not retain Oof. two wild steelhead. No wild. Two hatchery yeah. steelhead if you end up uh, finding yourself a couple of those. All right, great news in that regard and more to talk about on that in the near future. Running down the show, tons to get through tonight. Back in studio, Alex Moslov, CEO at Edge Rods, as we've already introduced, here to talk fishing rods and a whole lot more. So I'm excited about this evening. So glad you're here. Um, how about the pro shop, Alex at Edge? So he is here. We're going to delve into the, uh, the pro shop and why you need to make the trip to get on down there and check it out. Uh, first time guest joining us uh, later in the show, Ross Sharp, Crazy Elk Company, the Sportsman's Alliance, is actually suing. Fish and Wildlife Commission, the Washington State Fish and Wildlife Commission. Ross will join us to talk about a fundraiser they are doing through Crazy Elk Company to assist in generating funds. As litigation is expensive, they're going to help them out. So that's pretty exciting news. Um, also, in case you've missed it, the legislative session is currently in. Tommy and I will briefly discuss a couple bills being introduced, a couple that definitely you'll want to pay attention to, uh, and they do, in fact, need your complete support moving forward. Um, Fish Hunt Northwest and Edge Rods will be part of the Washington State Sportsman Show, uh, the Pacific Northwest Sportsman Show as well. What can you expect? What well, we're going to fill you in 
as we delve into that topic uh, relatively deep. And then, of course, Columbia River Chinook pre-forecast numbers are already coming in, fellas. And so we're going to start uh, paying attention to those. We've got some stats to throw at you. Also, WDFW is hosting for the first time a virtual town hall mm -hmm. for Puget Sound, folks at Fish Puget Sound. Um, they're going to recap 23, what happened, why we were removed from so many opportunities, Tommy, on a robust return. Yep. yep. And uh, we got a lot of information on that town hall coming, so stick around for that. Much to get to as we work our way through the evening. Alex, you're here, and we're just going to we're gonna pummel you with questions. I'm it's, ready. It's just the way it is. Okay. Let's do it. We'll do it. We're going to jump out for a quick break. We come back more with Alex and delving into the edge rods. What it's all about? Well, stick around. You're going to find out right after this break right here at Fish on Northwest. Defiance Marine is the one-stop shop for the Pacific Northwest Angler. Defiance Marine guarantees the best price on a new and best service on a repower for your current boat. Defiance Marine is a Honda premier dealership and one of the largest on the West Coast. Defiance Marine is a boat dealer who proudly sells Defiance, Allied, and Arima boats. All boats are built by West Coast fishermen for West Coast fishermen. Defiance Marine has all your boating needs to help you get out on the water. If you're looking for the best fishing rods in the world, you really do need to take a look at the edge rods. I designed and built new machinery, and I think this new machinery has enabled us to build blanks like no other company can build without this equipment. There is no other rods in the world that are as good as these rods. You owe it to yourself to take a good look at them. For more than 90 years, you've entrusted one brand to guide you towards living the lifestyle you've always dreamed of. Now you can entrust affiliated Better Homes and Gardens real estate professionals to interpret your needs and help you find the home in which to live your dream through every stage of your home buying or selling process. And through every stage of your life, there's Better Homes and Gardens real estate. Expect better. All right, welcome back here in studio, Dwayne England, Tommy Donlan, and in-studio guest, Alex Mozlov, CEO at Edge Rods, www.edgerods.com. So let's just get right into it, Alex, for folks not aware. There's a, there's a relationship here between North Fork Composite and Edge Rods. Kind of yeah. educate folks on what that is truly all about. Sure. So uh, to take it just one more step back, uh, the, relationship, the relationship starts with Gary Loomis. Mm -hmm. um, he started North Fork Composites to make blanks and composite tubing for uh, companies that are engaged in sporting goods. Um, he did that when uh, he survived his bout with prostate cancer mm -hmm. and everybody knows mm -hmm. that he started G. Loomis. He's kind of a local legend. Yeah. Um, what he wanted to do is bring back uh, the company to its roots of what he felt like um, he started with when he had a rod company. Mm -hmm. So he sold it to Shimano didn't feel that um, uh, it was going in the direction that he wanted to take it, so he decided to start North Fork Composites. Edge Rods started a little bit later and was essentially like the finished rod brand of a company that makes blanks and carbon fiber tubing and golf shafts and arrow shafts and hiking sticks. So um, it's, it's essentially the largest customer um, of uh, blanks that are used in fishing rods. Gotcha. So North Fork makes all sorts of carbon fiber tubing, and we make them for a lot of companies. Sure. Edge is a company that takes those carbon fiber blanks, turns them, turns them into performance fishing rods, uh, according to the recipe that Gary developed and mm -hmm. refined over the last 40 mm -hmm. years. Yep. Love it. Yep. Let, let's peel back the onion just a little bit, Alex, <laughs> and let's talk about a couple rod series, some steelhead rods. So you've got the the first strike the black widow and the silver widow yep. so can you describe it like a thirty six thousand foot level we're at cruise at a high level what is the difference between those three series sure um i think the best way of saying it is 
the first strike is like the workhorse of the family. Very tough. You know, if you're a guide or if you're having a rod, I almost cringe at saying this, like don't throw it in the back of your pickup truck. Mm-hmm. But yeah. if, you, if you're going to have a rod that's going to roll around in the back of your pickup yeah. truck, it, you know, the, the first strike series can take it. The guides are um, titanium, but they, they're a little bit more durable. It has a little bit more weight, um, again, because it's built for just constant repeat use, abuse, um, the Black Widow family, uh, the difference is the grips are hand braided. The blank itself is made of a higher uh, grade material. We mm-hmm. call it higher modulus in the industry, so it's more sensitive. Mm-hmm. Um, and that means, you know, you get better bite detection. It's lighter. Um, you get better sensitivity. Um, and as you do that, it kind of goes up in price. The Silver Widow is something new. It's exclusive to edge rods. We stumbled on it when we started making antennas for our government. Mm -hmm. Um, Go figure. They're vapor deposed with nickel. So as you look at the handle, you'll see that it looks silver. And what that is, is that's literal metal that gets deposed Hmm. onto the carbon fiber. Um, Not only does it amplify the the sensitivity, but um, at the same time, um, it looks really cool. Um, It's very, very durable. Um, and it's, it, it's, it's something unique because it's an exclusive fiber that gets sold to us on allocation from the military um, that is one of the best that is made stateside. So that is awesome. very light, yeah. very balanced, uh, very durable. At the same time, um, it, it, it does cost a little bit more. It does yeah. cost a little more. But, I mean, if you want to put one of the highest performance steelhead rods in your hand, of which I have, thank you, and uh, landed fish on it, and uh, I'm telling you, that 11 foot 4, 6 to 15 rating um, on that Silver Widow for steelhead rod and for float fish and spoon, whatever. It is an amazing rod. Best steelhead rod I've ever had the pleasure of landing some some fish with. Well, and you also know that holding that rod, even though it's light, it, it can handle a Chinook. If you decide to mm-hmm. float fish for a Chinook, it can do it just because the properties of, of the material allow us to do more with yeah, less. It's amazing. Lighter, but... Stronger. Yep. Fantastic. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, all right. Uh, we are going to jump out for a quick break. No, we're not. Uh, we still got plenty of time. I'm jumping a little ahead of the gun here. So, um, people may people may um, uh, look at the price point on that rod and think, ah, gosh, it's kind of, you know it's kind of up there. Because I look at um, First Strike and Black Widows like very reasonably priced. Sure. Most people can afford them and put a really good fishing rod in their hand. Yep. They might have to save a few more nickels to get that silver widow, but yep. in the long game, completely worth it. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's just an element of its own. Well, here, here's the, the quick quote about price. We all live in Washington State. Mm-hmm. Minimum wage here is sixteen bucks an hour. We don't pay anybody minimum wage, and I don't necessarily think that company should be proud of paying sure. their employees minimum wage. On average, it takes about 10 hours to build the most basic of rods. So if you're if you're thinking $16 an hour, 10 hours for the most basic, that's $160 mm-hmm. in just labor costs, sure. right? That doesn't include the materials. It doesn't include yeah. the titanium guides. Um, what we've done, we, well, I'm, I think we'll talk about this later, is we've taken out the retailers out of the equation mm-hmm. to bring the prices down and at the same time keep the most high quality that we can still feasibly manufacture here. So if you look at our rods, our $250 rod compares to a $500 rod at the retail store. Mm-hmm. You're not going to get a $200 rod with titanium guides, carbon grip, USA made, a genuine performance stick. I challenge you to find mm-hmm. one. And, and if you do, um, it's going to be an edge rod. Sure. Yeah. 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 Makes like sense. it. Well, it's uh, now. <laughs> yeah, now. Now we'll jump out for a quick break. Good segue. We're going to come back and talk about that direct to consumer versus retail and why you guys choose to do that. So we'll we'll lead in next uh, segment with that. Don't go anywhere. Way too much information to get through here uh, tonight, but we're going to keep it on going. Jump back in here right after this break, right here, Fish on Northwest. Allied, the new leader in heavy gauge aluminum boats. Allied boats have standard reverse chine and lifting rakes to help you plane faster and run at lower RPMs. Allied boats have several models to choose from, ranging from a 19-foot Mustang all the way up to a 32-foot Liberator. So regardless of what type of heavy gauge aluminum boats you are looking for, Allied Boats will have it for you. Contact Allied Boats today to learn more about these incredible fishing machines. Sportco and Outdoor Emporium is the largest local outfitter in the Northwest since 1975, providing thousands of people affordable outdoor gear. 
This summer, make your next outdoor adventure more affordable by shopping at our warehouse style pricing. We are a local Scotty dealer offering sales, service, and repair. Located in Fife and Seattle, come visit us today. The outdoors await you. Back to the program, Dwayne and Tommy Donlin, of course, Alex Mosloff. Uh, if you had tuned in late here, CEO at Edge Rods, and uh, gosh, I, we could right. we could talk for hours, but we only have 60 minutes, so we're going to get yeah, we, we got to make it quick. So let, let's get back to the discussion about you know factory direct versus having retail stores. How how did you make that decision? Yeah. So the one thing that I want people to take away from the show today is we're a factory. We're not a uh, a warehouse that imports stuff, that moves stuff around. We invite everybody to do a tour mm -hmm. to show folks that we are a factory. You will see 90 hardworking Americans taking raw material from raw prepreg carbon fiber, making them into tubes. Watch the entire process as you walk through a factory, turn that into a fishing rod. The reason I say this, and the reason is kind of both on an emotional and, and, a, and, a, and a marketing level, we had a choice either to keep our production stateside or take it abroad. Right. And a lot of companies have made that choice, right? And mm -hmm. when I say they've made the choice is you know that the products are coming from overseas. And there's no, they're still feeding a lot of folks. They're still, you know, taking care of bills. And, but, but for Gary, it was a no-go. Um, so what we were challenged with is how do we keep stuff that's U.S. made, reasonably priced, high quality materials, but at the same time, not have it made overseas. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that we could come up with is, look, if we wanna maintain the product quality, if we wanna keep it made here, you have to take something out of the equation. And unfortunately, the thing that we had to take out of the equation was the retail market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We love our retail partners. We have a pro shop, which we'll talk about later, but to have a rod company in the US to make a performance stick with titanium guides, carbon fiber grips, genuinely made here, you have to remove the additional 100% markup, 50% yep. margin. I, it, th we don't have another way. We don't right. sell on Amazon because right. they ask for a markup. Yeah. Our pricing model is transparent. Yeah. We mark everything up 30%. That's what it costs us to stay in business, mm -hmm. pay salaries, bonuses, whatever they are, but everything else gets passed on to the computer. And the proof is mm -hmm. you'll read a whole bunch of things about edge rods. The number one thing is it takes time to get. The market responded with an overwhelming response. Mm -hmm. We're under heavy demand. Now we have a choice to make. Do I raise prices to slow down the demand? I can do that. You, you know, could. and that'll 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 immediately slow it. Sure. But again, that's gonna be disingenuous to our business right. model where we told 100%. folks factory direct to consumer. Yes. So you know, most guys will tell you, hey, we're brand A, brand B. They won't tell you that they're a factory. Right. They'll buy from a factory, mark it up, and resell it. We tell you, come visit ours mm -hmm. and see how we turn this from raw material yep. into a finished game. Yeah, Love you it. mentioned at the pro shop. So you guys have been yep. up and running for just a little over a year. It opened November of 22. One year right? anniversary. Got gotcha. yeah. One year anniversary. It's doing yeah. well. Talk a little bit about that. I mean, here I got uh, up the photo from the grand opening last year. And uh, when folks walk in, you know, first time coming by, what can they expect to see? So we talk to you. We talk to... Tommy, we talked to, so anybody that we could get our hands on and say, look, what are all these shops missing? And the, the thing that kept coming back over and over again, it's like, 
most of them carry stuff that's centrally merchandised in Utah, in California, wherever headquarters are. They, they don't carry the stuff that we use and the stuff that we fish with. So we just made a decision to make it as brand neutral as we can. Went to every single manufacturer from, from Brad's to Yakima to whoever. Mm -hmm. Everybody's in that store. Whatever you use in the Pacific Northwest to fish for salmon and steelhead, you'll find it there. And if you don't, we ask you to tell us so that we can stock it. We wanted to make it a mecca for guys that are true metalheads, guys that have dedicated their life for the pursuit of, you know, just chasing salmon and steel. So that, and that's, and so, you know, I was gonna mention that a little bit later. I would venture to say that we have the largest <laughs> kokanee selection in the Western Washington. Yes. Like guys from Montana to Northern California to Idaho will just bring it all in to make sure that we have it. Perfect. So. Now, wait a second. Okay, forget kokanee for a second. So like for the tuna guys out there, if, if they want to come in and they want to experience the that tuna series and the plagic series and the different models, is the pro shop the way to go? Can they come in and kind of work with somebody to get a little bit of an education and kind of walk through the different models, put a bend in them? And is, is that really what the pro shop experience is about? So to get back on kokanee. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. All right, we're done with you. <laughs> <laughs> we are, we have a, uh, like a four rack selection of jigs, reels, saltwater stuff. It's still in development. And honestly, the reason why it's still in development is because that's a new market segment for us. It's not a new market segment for a lot of folks. There's a lot of people that fish, um, specifically, you know, halibut and, but you know, for us in that corner of the Pacific Northwest, we just discovered what a pipe jig is, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, really, they 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 buy yes, this they stuff. Yes, they do. So so it's it's slow slowly getting merchandised. Um, it, it will get bigger, um, but right now it's it's dedicated to salmon and steelhead. Perfect. Dedicated salmon steelhead. Uh, okay, you did mention the tours. Now, even coming into the pro shop, you can see some of the finish work going yep. on. If I'm not mistaken, yep. in uh, some of the ladies and staff in there yep. working. On the finished end of rods, uh, as they as they get the the final finalization done, from start to finish, you can see how that roll of carbon fiber that gets brought in from either Torrey or Hexel or Mitsubishi will get cut into a pattern. Will make its way through what we call our back end production. Will make its way to an oven. Um, all the way through, you can follow the entire process, and then in the pro shop is where we have like a. I guess it's where you can watch how the sausages are made, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. Where you know you can see how guides are being tied on and, right. and rods are being put on finishing wheels. But you know, it, it's it's one of those where we want folks to know that they're interacting with a factory when they're calling us. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're calling Amazon, you've got a giant call center, yeah. right? And you're talking to guys that are trained. And when, when you call us, you're talking to guys that have just finished. You know, maybe hand sanding blanks and they're picking up the phone and, you know, they're trying to handle your 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 questions or concerns. So, you know, we ask for a little bit of patience. Mm -hmm. The reason why you can get an amazing product made in the U.S. is because, again, you're dealing with a factory. Yeah. You're not dealing mm -hmm. with a conglomerate. You're not dealing with a distributor. You're not dealing with a reseller. You're dealing with a factory. That's well, the big takeaway. Folks and, need to right. wrap and their head around that. The other thing that I would mention that is really important, okay, is that you have an engineering organization, yeah. right? Which is a lot different than a lot of other rod companies because what a lot other you know what a lot of other rod companies do is they say, well, uh, I need a blank that, that kind of does this, right. test it. Oh, that's not quite right. Here, let's let's throw another dart at the board and hope it lands in the right spot. Sure. Oh, that bend's still not right, right? Yeah. We've got guys at Edge, right, that yep. are basically taking a very methodical approach to the design and build of these rods. We are a tubular composite specialist. Um, a large portion of our business is not related to fishing. Uh, guys come to consult with us just because we've been making tubes for such a long time about gun barrels and heat dissipation mm -hmm. and you know proper um, flexes and stiffnesses and torques. And this, this goes from the golf shaft business to the aero shaft business. Um, a lot of physics goes into making a tube and what makes a tube bend without making that tube break. Yep. So, you know, when we tell you, hey, it's a moderate power, medium heavy, that means something to us because we've got 40 years of understanding what a moderate power, medium heavy is. Mm -hmm. You know, most of the time somebody will tell you, hey, this is a, um, a, a light action rod and you'll pick it up and you'll shake it and you'll just put it back and you'll say, 
great thanks you know it's, <laughs> yeah. it's 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 somebody said it's light but sure. it's not light to what you know we're used to here a little Pacific more a little more layers yeah. to that yes. yeah for sure okay we're running a little long here we're gonna jump out for a quick break we come back i'm gonna inter introduce you to ross sharp crazy l company uh for good reason got a contest going on it's going to generate funds to support sportsman's alliance in the pursuit in the lawsuit against washington state fish and wildlife commission don't go anywhere back with ross sharp right after this break right here fish on northwest Support from Northwest Sportsmen make Federal Ammunition the world's leading ammunition manufacturer. Federal uses the industry's finest materials, giving you reliable ammunition that delivers superb accuracy and optimum performance. Northwest hunters rely on Sportco to provide the best selection and prices in the Northwest since 1985. Sportco and Outdoor Emporium in Fife and Seattle. Your journey begins here. Yep, for sure. Oh yeah, big fish. Yeah, buddy. Nice fish. Oh, beauty. Gorgeous fish. Bobby's on the board. We got a good one. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, jeez, come on. Nice fish. Nice fish. You haven't been here. But you know it. You've heard the sounds, smelt the air, and you've seen where your heart lands, if not yet. You haven't been here, but you've longed for a destination near or far, where time spent with loved ones and friends will go into the night and last in memories for a lifetime. You haven't been here, but you're on your way to a place not far. ExploreTheDowls.com New days, new beginnings, new friends, new loves, new dreams, new goals, new scenery, new job. No matter what the next chapter holds, Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate will be there to help you find the new that's right for your lifestyle at any stage of your life. Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. Expect better. All right, welcome back here to the program. Dwayne England, Tommy Donlin, and guest Alex Mozlov. And we're going to, a little shift of gears here, fellas, going to talk a little bit about some things going on behind the scenes to benefit us all going down the road here. Amen. So I want to introduce you all to Ross Sharp, Crazy Elk Company, the Crazy Elk Company, founder and the man in charge, uh, www.crazyelkcompany.com. Uh, Ross, thanks, thanks so much for taking time this evening to join us here at uh, Fish on Northwest. No, hey, thanks for having me on. It's a pleasure. Absolutely. So you are the creator of the Crazy Elk Company. Now on your webpage, I did a little research there. It says, do not try to define the Crazy Elk Company. But let's face it, for those of us not familiar with what it is and who you guys are, just real quickly, give us an idea of what the Crazy Elk Company actually is. Um, I guess when I name myself Crazy Elk, I kind of put myself in a box. But <laughs> it's, it's basically for all hunting. Um, the nickname came from... Uh, the Hunt Washington site. Anyway, um, the Crazy Elk Company, trying to think outside of the box with products that um, you never know you needed. Like my one product I have right now is called the Tag Wallet, right. which is pro proven to be um, a lot of people like it. Um, I just need more people to like it. But uh, I got some other products that put twists on things to make it a little easier to use and stuff like that. Okay. But, that is the premise behind the company. Gotcha. I like it. I mean, everybody loves a crazy bull that just wants to come into any call, right? So I like the name. Yeah. Hey, Ross, oh. you guys hey. support a number of charities, and I know that one of them is near and dear to your guys' hearts, and that's Youth Art youth Outdoors. Can you talk a little bit about that relationship? Um. Yeah. The youth Outdoors, uh, they take kids. Mostly, they're all from Washington. Um, they take kids that have like severe disabilities or life-threatening illnesses. And, you know, it's, it's kind of like a make a wish for hunting. They take a hunting and fishing. And I've been a part of a couple elk hunts um, up North with some kids. And even though the one hunt I went on, the kid did not uh, get his elk. He was still just amazed to see the elk. And it was, it was, you know, life-changing for him. And his family, because their parents come along 
along with the thing too. And his parents had, you know, knew nothing about hunting at all. Yeah. Um, and they, and they were amazed that he even wanted to go on a hunt, but, uh, yeah, they, you know, they have, um, a number of fundraiser auctions throughout the year. Um, the owners or the, the people who run it live in Moses Lake. Um, just really good group of people. They have, you know, people from all over help volunteer, taking people hunting and fishing. And it's just a really good organization. And it gives kids a chance who've never hunted or never will have the chance again to hunt to do it. Yeah, it's a great organization. I'm, I'm so glad you guys are involved with them and doing some great work in that regard. Let's get to the uh, topic at hand here tonight. Now folks know a little bit about you and your organization. Uh, you guys are doing a fundraiser to generate monies uh, that will go towards the uh, Sportsman's Alliance and their efforts to uh, file a lawsuit against our current Fish and Wildlife Commission. So let's talk a little bit about that fundraiser and, uh, you know, what, what what folks can expect here. So the fundraiser, as you said, um, if unless people have been living under a rock, but I'm sure your followers haven't, um, there's a lot of stuff going on with the commission. They're doing a lot of things. They're not listening to the state staff. Um, I don't know if you listened to the Beaver meetings last, last I, I call them the Beaver meetings, <laughs> where Senator Jesse Solomon literally said he is he is one of the people pushing the commission not to listen to state staff. Mm. Um, and then people in the background laughed about it, you know. So there definitely is an agenda, and the commissioners are, are not listening at all. Right. One of the commissioners, as we know, Lorna, is an illegal acting commissioner right. who who was sued and Sportsman's Alliance won that, but now it's an appeal. And actually Sportsman's just came back um basically saying, no, you can't do that because this is this is what the loss is. And all these things take money. There's other things coming down the pipe, like with their new conservation policy, um, that we don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm hearing that we're probably going to find out by the end of the month yeah. what the outcome of that is. And then they also have the uh, predator policy that they accepted from uh, the Humane Society. Mm -hmm. So they need funds. And as a Washington sportsman and all, you know, living here my whole life, I don't have a huge company, but I have a way to produce funds to help them when the time comes. And I wouldn't say that. They're going to sue the commission when it comes time, but they're going to hold the commission liable to the law. Sure. And, you know, that's that's the point. And all that takes money. So yeah. if I can help and raise money, I'm going to do that. And I reached out to uh, people I know um, in the industry and I said, hey, this is what I'm thinking. Would you guys be willing to contribute and help? And um, so I got a bunch of guys on board. And the main thing is is because I am a for-profit company. I couldn't just do a raffle. I had to do a game of chance, which means I'm selling an item, which is a t-shirt. And if you go on the site, um, you'll see this t-shirt. There's a man and a woman's. Uh, it's gonna cost 40 bucks. Um, and thanks to the hookup with your your boy, we're gonna get a good deal going on with the t-shirt. So <laughs> yes, more indeed. money for sport, right. Sportsman's Alliance, the better. Um, and so the, it's a win a hunt with Samong Yang. So if you buy a t-shirt, you're entered in, you get five points. And the reason we had to do five points is because by law, I have to offer a free entry. Um, and so that separates the people who are actually contributing to the fundraiser rather than those who just want a free hunt. Um, but it's a turkey hunt with a YouTube star, Samong Yang, who's a good friend of mine. We've hunted, um, took some youth on some turkey hunts before. Um, and with winning the turkey hunt with Samong, it comes with a Stevens 410 single shot shotgun donated nice, by Elliot nice. Outdoors. Yeah, I got one of those. Love it. Yeah, they're great. I bought my daughter one last year. She, she's, she's a shooter with it for sure. Um, a fan mount by Black River Taxidermy. Um, P and Wild is donating their uh, Tamarack 2.0 knife. Jason Phelps donated a turkey calling package. Parrot Outdoors donated um, a spice game package for nice. wild birds. Yeah. Um, Good stuff. Elusive mm -hmm. Outdoors is making a turkey tote, a red, white, and blue turkey tote, so they can carry their turkey out of the woods. Um, wild Country Customs is also donating a pot call. 
and Vortex is donating a binoculars and an optics yet not unleashed. So nobody knows what it is, but this person's going to win one. And then um, on top of that, I had a private individual who approached me um, at the fundraiser last week down in um, Centralia for a Sportsman's Alliance. The private individual is going to donate to pay for the tag and the license of the hunter who wins. Fantastic. So the, the drawing is May 4th. They have up until yep. February 28th to enter, and they enter this drawing in this amazing prize package by simply purchasing a T-shirt, and a majority of those proceeds generated, uh, um, removal of costs, of course, is getting donated to Sportsman's Alliance to help them with their future endeavors. Yep. Okay, we got the uh, we got the re- website www.crazyelkcompany.com forward slash fundraiser forward slash on the screen. Folks can track you down via Facebook, social media platforms, and your webpage. Ross, this is a great thing you guys are doing, a simple purchase of a T-shirt, and the proceeds going towards th- some things that benefits everybody, not to mention whoever wins this raffle is going to go away with an amazing prize package. So you guys have done a really good job. Uh, we tip our cap to you, and we appreciate you uh, joining us here tonight to let folks know what it is you guys got going on. Hey, well, thanks a lot. Absolutely. Thank Have you. a great evening. All right, Ross uh, Sharp, crazy, the Crazy Elk Company. Check them out, www.crazyelkcompany.com. Spend the money to get the T-shirt, and uh, you just don't know. You may win this whole entire thing. So, all right, we're going to jump out for a quick break. When we come back, Tommy, we've got a few resolutions and, uh, and bills to uh, cover here to help educate the folks what's going on in this current legislative system session. Don't go anywhere. We'll be uh, right back after this quick break right here at Fish and Northwest. Allied, the new leader in heavy gauge aluminum boats. Allied boats have standard reverse chine and lifting rakes to help you plane faster and run at lower RPMs. Allied boats have several models to choose from, ranging from a 19-foot Mustang all the way up to a 32-foot Liberator. So regardless of what type of heavy gauge aluminum boats you are looking for, Allied boats will have it for you. Contact Allied boats today to learn more about these incredible fishing machines. Hey guys, I'm Big Mike. Come on down to the Edge Pro Shop and see me. We've got all the best brands under one roof. We've got Hawken, Procure, Short Bus, Pro Troll, Yakima Bait, Get em Dry Jigs, Northwest Bait Scent, Daiwa Reels, North Fork Lures, North Wild, Brad's, Superfly, Rocky Mountain Tackle, and of course, the greatest rods ever built, Edge Rods. All right, welcome back here in the studio. Tommy, for those not aware, we have the, uh, the legislative session is up and running. 60-day session going on right now. And there's some things that are uh, coming out of the current uh, language and some articles written by Andy Wagamont over there at uh, uh, Sportsman's, Northwest Sportsman's Magazine. Um, mm-hmm. This one caught my attention. Senate Joint Resolution 8208, okay, would create an inalienable right for, to forage, hunt, fish, trap, and harvest wildlife in the state constitution. Pay attention to that. The state constitution of two-thirds of both the Senate and the House agreed to put the amendment to the constitution up for statewide vote in a simple majority would approve that uh, movement. This is a big one. It's like if we can get language rewritten in the Washington state constitution 
um, yep. to make fishing and hunting and gathering a right of the citizens of Washington State. That holds a lot of weight. Yes, and, it does. Uh, I actually went and met with uh, Senator Keith Wagner last night in his office, and we videotaped that uh, information and that interview. We're going to put that on the show next week so people can really wrap their head around what it means to have That's that right. change of language in the Washington State Constitution. Right. And so basically, this is all about protecting fishing and hunting rights. Yeah. And the beautiful thing about this already is that aside from Senator Keith Wagner, mm -hmm. this is bipartisan, right? Yes. This is sponsored by seven senators yes. from both sides of the aisle. Correct. And it was without having to shop it. The, the right. Democrats on the other side came to him and said, I want to co-sponsor this bill. Because yep. they see that it makes sense. And everybody's kind of like joining a rallying around this thing. And it's already been uh, given a date and time for a hearing on the Senate floor. So that is a good step in the right direction in that regard. That's right. That's sure. right. Now, and that's not the only thing either, no. right? So speaking of state legislators, mm -hmm. we also have uh, J.T. Wilcox, right. who will be introducing a bill mm -hmm. to remove the commission. That's right. Remove. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's truncate. Right. It is the <laughs> end. Finito. Goodbye. Which, um, it's, 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 you know, kind of sad that it's come to that. But the original intent of why the commission was formed and the good work they've done for a number of years in helping create uh, a draft and, uh, and, and, and uh, write policy and give direction to the director on how to manage fish and game here in the state of Washington with staff through WDFW, uh, it's been so hijacked and it's so far out there in left field. It is. And they disregard all the science brought to them by staff anymore. And they, uh, they're on an agenda. And they yep. listen to the coffers being brought to them from outside state agencies and anti-hunting groups and people with a lot of money that have an agenda. And this is the direction the commission has gone. Right. So there's a handful of legislators over here in Olympia that finally said, you know what? It served its time. It's been hijacked. It no longer yep. serves a purpose that serves the people. Right. So we need to remove it. Enough so, is enough. Yep. We have, uh, we have tons more to uh, get through in regards to that over the next several weeks. The ledge session, like I said, is in for 60 days. We're going to continue to bring these to you guys' attention because, well, Tommy, it's what we do. That's right. All right. Jump out for a quick break. When we come back, more to discuss, some salmon forecasts and some information you definitely want to stick around for. After this break right here at Fish on Northwest. I make my living catching fish, not only as a tournament angler, but as a guide as well. Catching fish is important, and Gamagatsu hooks for me, you know, they kind of help take the luck out of fishing a little bit just because they're a high quality hook. Obviously have a really good reputation for being very strong and very sharp. Gamagatsu, I use their products every day in the boat and, you know, big part of my success. All Defiance boats are built without any structural wood materials. That is why all boats are backed with a lifetime warranty. All Defiance boats come standard with large fish boxes that are fully insulated so that you can ice your fish properly all day. All Defiance boats are foam flotation filled and unsinkable for the ultimate in safety while fishing offshore. Before you buy any boat, stop by or call Defiance boats today to ensure you are getting the very best glass boat your money can buy. If you're looking for the best fishing rods in the world, you really do need to take a look at the edge rods. I designed and built new machinery, and I think this new machinery has enabled us to build blanks like no other company could build without this equipment. There is no other rods in the world that are as good as these rods. You owe it to yourself to take a good look at them. New days, new beginnings, new friends, new loves, new dreams, new goals, new scenery, new job. No matter what the next chapter holds, Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate will be there to help you find the new that's right for your lifestyle at any stage of your life. Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. Expect better. All right, welcome back here in studio. Um, Alex, the uh, the Edge Rod Company has a tremendous footprint at the sportsman shows as of the last several years. So you guys are going to be there. Uh, huge layout of all types of fishing rods for sale. You guys are selling stuff direct out of the booth. Why? Because yep. you're a direct to consumer. Yep. What can folks expect to come see there at the at the booth at the at the sportsman shows? So the first thing is Gary is 82. Yeah. Wow. This is probably, if not one of his last shows, getting pretty close up there. So if you want to just 
go to talk to him about Pacific Northwest fishing history, conservation, the right to be able to, you know, harvest, whether it's fish or game in Washington, um, just say hello to the man. We bring him to the shows. Yeah. He's there to talk to you. We will have trade show specials. Uh, we will bring everything that the pro shop carries. We'll bring apparel. But more importantly, we just want to say hello to you. Mm -hmm. We want to meet you, and we want to show you what Edge is all about. Yeah. Um, it, it's always an exciting time of year because we don't get to meet all of our customers all the time. 90% of our sales are over the Internet, 10% are in the pro shop. So it gives you a chance to also give us feedback. You know, Don't do the... Les Schwab throw the tire through the shop, you know, we <laughs> got, 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 yeah. got various escalation. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but come over and say hello, and uh, you can get a great deal on an American local Pacific Northwest made fishing rod. Awesome. Hey, let's talk about rods for a second. Again. Did, did Edge release Still? any new rods here this last year? Is there a plan to release any new rods? Is that Are those rods going to be present at the show? Or? They are. We came out with a new material called air carbon, which are in our new Salmon and Steelhead Silver Widow series. So oh, wow. historically, okay. Silver Widow was for the bass guys. Yeah. The Pacific Northwest market with the salmon returns, with um, just how well that market is doing, um, we introduced a new line of Silver Widow rods. And when we say air carbon, when you pick it up, you'll understand why. Super like it's light, got helium in it. Yeah. super light, super strong, <laughs> super high light, modulus. Super strong, yes. incredibly sensitive, and uh, just... It's it's made with a incredible recovery. It'll just articulate whatever the lure needs to do, um, and at the same time, respectively, it won't break the bank when you compare it to other domestic made rods. Awesome. One uh, fantastic thing additional to uh, folks coming to see you at the Sportsman shows, and we're talking here in Washington in the Portland show uh, in mid February. Um, so we we all we encourage folks come down to the pro shop. It's it's a it's a factory direct sale. Uh, and so you may order it online, and then it's the first time you put your hand on that rod is when it arrives at your house. Right. Go down to the pro shop and check them out, feel them. You yep. really take a, a yep. you know, put them in your hand. Sportsman show, it's like, what do you want to put in your hand and, and really check out? What do you want to talk to the right. guys it's in the in inventory? Mm -hmm. It yeah. is, right? Yeah. So you have that opportunity to put it on. You're going to have tons of tackle there for sale as yep. well from the pro shop. And uh, we'll be we'll be back and forth talking constantly as we do because uh, you like to come over and get coffee. We're absolutely <laughs> we're we're partnered with Daiwa Reels, so expect right. some some uh, promotions and cross promotions and offers and savings there too. So right. um, just come over and say hello and uh, yeah. tell us how you fish, and we'll be able to find the right stick for you. Fantastic, Beautiful. and of course even one designated for salt. <laughs> ah, yes. we'll, so we'll have three. We'll have three in the booth. <laughs> right. All right. All three of them. Bring all three <laughs> all of them. Right? Them. Yeah, we'll they'll be built this one. year. Uh, <laughs> and just a quick reminder, fish. Hunt Northwest will, of course, be at the Washington and the Pacific Sportsman's show uh, this this uh, next coming month or two. Um, yeah, stop on by booth uh, 569. And, of course, uh, check out my bait carrying seminar, which will be on, uh, what day is it? Oh, yeah, February 1st, Thursday. We won't have a live show that week, Tommy, because I'll be busy doing a bait seminar, 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. in Washington. Bait carrying seminar, answering all your questions. More to come on that. Uh, check us out online. we got a little video up there telling you everything we're going to be doing. So excited to do the Sportsman Show this year. I think people are finally coming back to these venues. That's right. We're way beyond COVID. Time to get back in there and, and enjoy all that is that goes on at these sportsman shows and we're excited it's gonna be a great year so all right jumping out for a quick break when we come back a couple forecast numbers now that we want to get to you so don't go anywhere quick break here and uh, right back fishing northwest a northwest favorite for almost 40 years arima boats are manufactured with pride in bremerton washington all arima boats are built without any structural wood materials that is why arima boats are backed with a lifetime warranty Arima can offer every boat with Honda outboard packages so that you can take advantage of the reliability and five-year top-to-prop warranty from your Honda outboard. Call or stop by Arima Boats today and let them help you get into your very next boat. Yep, for sure. Oh yeah, big fish. Yeah, buddy, nice fish. Beauty. Gorgeous fish. Bobby's on the board. We got a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. No, oh, geez, come on. Nice fish. Nice fish.
Support from Northwest Sportsmen make Federal Ammunition the world's leading ammunition manufacturer. Federal uses the industry's finest materials, giving you reliable ammunition that delivers superb accuracy and optimum performance. Northwest hunters rely on Sportco to provide the best selection and prices in the Northwest since 1985. Sportco and Outdoor Emporium in Fife and Seattle. Your journey begins here. All right, welcome back here to the show. Dwayne England, Tommy Donlin, and Alex Maslow. Hey, fellas, how about some preseason forecast numbers Let's hear it. coming in? Let's do it. How about that, huh? First of all, before we get there, 2023 projections uh, for the preseason forecast for the Columbia River Chinook, and we're talking August through the end of the year, um, was for 554,000 in 2023, mm -hmm. right? It actually came in at 131%. Remember, wow. we had extended fisheries, and it seemed to be pretty robust and was doing well. That's an additional 171,700 plus. So for a total of 725, 740,000 Chinook came in between August, the buoy tent opener, in the end of the year. So yeah. about three quarters of a million wow. on those And Chinook. you could tell too. Oh, you could the, tell. The, and totally so tell. early yeah. indicators as we roll into 24, the reason I threw that out there is so you understand where we ended up in 23. Going into 24, very similar to what they're projecting out of 23. Um, and some, some gauges that they use, the first being the Bonneville Pool Hatchery Stock is one that they track very closely, Tommy. But that one in itself appears to have a lower than normal or lower than 2021 20, and 22 jack return. So right. that's one thing that they're kind of paying attention to in right. that regard. So going into 24. That's it. right, right. But, mm -hmm. right, the, the good news, right? That's some positive news for me. The upriver bright stocks appear to have higher jack returns Correct. than 2022. Which is really good. Yep, that's right. And the, uh, the Bonneville pool, so you mentioned um, that hatchery stock, right? Mm -hmm. But if we look at the adults, it's having, you know, similar return to 2022. Correct. Yep. And then if you look at the, the Thule return, the lower river mm -hmm. hatchery fish, that's also similar to 2022. Which is a huge component on how they manage these fisheries <clears throat> uh, relative to openings and closings. They may close a lower section mm -hmm. of the river and, and remain up there, open around Kalama, Longview, those types of things. It just depends how they perform. But ultimately, last year was actually pretty darn good. And most of these early indicators with the jacks and the adult returns mm -hmm. that they're engaging are very similar uh, going into 24. So I'm encouraged. Alex, you guys right down there in the hub around the Columbia, out of Klamath area and uh, Woodland actually, you should be very uh, pleased to start hearing these numbers coming in. Um, they'll continue to calculate and pull in numbers and use other data points and models to generate the mm -hmm. information as we move towards uh, salmon forecasting in north of Falcon, more information to come on that. Additionally, WDFW just announced, and this one kind of caught me off guard too, they're going to hold a pre-North of Falcon meeting for Puget Sound. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. So yeah, they're going to hold their first ever virtual town hall, right? We've been having a lot of town halls for Steelhead. Correct, yeah. Um, but this is going to be the first one ever talking on January 30th mm -hmm. about a recap of the last season. What the heck happened in 2023? In Puget Sound. In Puget Sound. Correct. Right, and what does that mean for 2024 and 25? Yeah, so we have to back up and remember in 23, we had a pretty robust Chinook forecast coming to throughout Puget Sound. North Puget Sound, Central, <clears throat> even down in the South Puget Sound. And we got our openings and folks were catching fish. And when it's all said and done and all the openings and closings and emergency closures and all this, secondary to sublegal encounters, mm -hmm. which was subjected to a total misinformation <laughs> because truly what they caught a high percentage of was early returning jack, jacks. hatchery clipped. Yep, jacks. That, if we back up, are from the first release of the Orca Task Force yep. of those pen-raised fish in lower hatcheries on that um, on that uh, Puget Sound region. So you had a big flush of fish out. We got all these early jack returns coming back in. Right. At the same time, we're open for Chinook retention. Test boats, tribal test boats, they're catching all yep. these sublegals because they right. fit the definition. They were your juvenile encounters, yes. But they are truly a re early returning jack, yes, which right. totally foobarred us yeah. and closed our fisheries when we barely scratched 30% of the take on, again, a really robust return yeah. anticipated so we got just straight robbed off that was that we was did. yeah snafu tarfu and fubar all of them so this yep. this this um town hall and and your mm -hmm. point is valid they've been doing it for steelhead now they're going to do this for 
Puget Sound salmon. And if you care about our fisheries in Puget Sound, tune in on January 30th. Go to the DFW website, uh, log on there, get your uh, invitation sent back, keep that, keep that link. Tune in because you're going to be able to give comment, you're going to be able to weigh in, you're going to be able to get them to justify their decision making process. And hopefully moving forward into 24, what are they going to do different? Right. What are they going to do different if we have a similar same forecast? Because right. God knows we cannot be subjected to so many closures once again and no opportunity That's right. to fish. So. Yep. And WFW has also announced that um, we're going to have our statewide salmon forecast meeting March 1st. That's right. In Olympia, um, Office Building 2, Auditorium uh, 1115 in Olympia. So yep. Washington stay Street. tuned. Okay. Yeah, we'll have more information on that. That's the uh, big forecast for statewide that's right and that's an that's important right. meeting all right jump out for a quick break we come back we'll close out the show defiance marine is the one-stop shop for the pacific northwest angler defiance marine guarantees the best price on a new and best service on a repower for your current boat defiance marine is a honda premier dealership and one of the largest on the west coast defiance marine is a boat dealer who proudly sells defiance allied in arima boats all boats are built by West Coast fishermen for West Coast fishermen. Defiance Marine has all your boating needs to help you get out on the water. If you're looking for the best fishing rods in the world, you really do need to take a look at the edge rods. I designed and built new machinery, and I think this new machinery has enabled us to build blanks like no other company could build without this equipment. There is no other rods in the world that are as good as these rods. You owe it to yourself to take a good look at them. See you real quick. Seattle Boat Show, yep. February 2nd to the 10th. Yep. Oh, we're, we're already Here back. we are. Boom, boom. Thanks, Jordan. No, nice Appreciate countdown. It. Hey, we are winding it down here. <laughs> Seattle Boat Show, as I was alluding to. Tommy, February 2nd through the 10th. That's right. And I got seminars this year. Come hang out. I've, uh, on February 2nd, we're going to talk about halibut, link cod, and tuna. Um, the third, they're doing something really cool at the boat show this year. Every day is dedicated to kind of a different subject matter. On the third, it's all about fishing. They're going to bring in all of the presenters, all the seminar presenters. And from 4 to 6 p.m., we're going to hang out at the lounge and bar, right. and we're just going to talk fishing. It's yeah. going to be beautiful. Be awesome. Got another seminar on the 8th. Um, talking about coastal salmon fishing, which we know is absolutely phenomenal, mm -hmm. measuring uh, how fast we limit it out in minutes, not hours. Um, and then <laughs> oh, gonna, could we get that again, please? That's right, yes. please. And then on the 9th, uh, Friday the 9th, 5 p.m., I'm going to talk tuna tackle and tactics. Oh, perfect. Yes, yeah. sir. You got a number of seminars, definitely worth person's times to come on up there. Definitely worth to come spend mm -hmm. time with us at the uh, Washington Sportsman Show. Alex and crew will be there for the week. Um, tons of things to do and see. We're going to be selling tons of swag. Mm -hmm. I mean, Shing is busy right now. Just, just the inventory is arriving here at the house daily. I'm running out of space. That's why the house is going back on the market. That's right. You <laughs> need March. another one. <laughs> we got. We need more room here. This is growing way too fast. So, uh, Alex, uh, final thoughts before we bug on out of here. Appreciate you uh, making the drive and coming in, man. Yeah, just thank you for everybody for making Edge Rods a Pacific Northwest staple. Mm -hmm. We don't say it enough. Um, we read it all the time that folks just wish they could get it sooner and you just have our commitment that we're working on it. It's, it's hiring, it's training people, it's just growing bigger every single year, but we're humbled and we're thankful. So. Many companies in the Northwest would love to have some of the issues you have and where demand is constantly it's outrunning very supply. High, yeah. And that is, uh, from a business perspective, it's good. And you and I have talked about this numerous yeah. times. I mean, it's, it's good and it's bad, right? And you guys are doing the very best you can and you're right. You know, uh, retaining those quality employees is the is the challenge, and you hope you can do that because you put a lot of time and effort into training these folks. You Absolutely. Want to stay, you know, mm -hmm. you invest in them, you yep. want them to stay invested in the company. So yep. <clears throat> that's right. You guys are um, you guys are crushing it. Hands down, best rods in the Northwest. Thank we you. are so happy to have you on as a contributing sponsor and partnership here at Fish on Northwest. So we can't thank you enough. Ditto. So, we're we're thrilled to be supported by you guys as well yeah absolutely all right gonna do it for us this week here fish on northwest appreciate y'all tuning in have a great week have a great weekend stay dry we'll get into the weather next week because man this is gonna be a <laughs> yeah, mess the atmosphere so, flow is coming we'll talk about it next week again have a great week have a great weekend we'll see you next time right here at fish on northwest thanks everyone <laughs>